You're watching the Sporting Time Show with host Doug Thompson. Sponsored by Jewelry Barn and Pawn Shop. Good evening and welcome to the Sporting Time Show. I'm Doug Thompson and thank you for joining us and spending a few minutes with me on a Saturday night. I love my work and, and we have the greatest guests here every week. And this week is no different. Tonight's show is packed with former student athletes that have achieved great success uh, at their sport and in their college. Coming up later in the show, we have Grace Turner, who is at WKU and has successfully had a great Conference USA uh, final just a couple of weeks ago. We'll talk about that. But first, I want to bring on my first guest, who in 2018 was a 5A Player of the Year and helped lead his team to a state championship, the South Warren Spartans, and then he went on to South Bend, Indiana, where he plays football for the Fighting Irish. I want to bring on my guest, Jacob Lacey. Jacob, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you Good doing? to see you, man. Me too. Yes, uh, sir. Amazing, uh, amazing from the standpoint that you graduated high school early, mm -hmm. and you just graduated Notre Dame early. Yes, sir. I, for, for our viewers who don't, or who have never played college sports or college football in particular, it is a full-time job, isn't it? Just to play football. <laughs> yes, um, a lot of other schools don't have the school part, so, but football, <laughs> football is a, to me, you know, I think it's a very, very, you know, time-consuming, but you you love it, so it's a fun job. You but, like it. but you have you have weightlifting. Yes, sir. You have film. You have team meetings. <laughs> yes, sir. You have practice, and all that occurs in the same day while you're trying to go to school. Right. And it's it's just amazing to me that you were able. I'm not surprised, but at at a college level program like mm -hmm. Notre Dame. To be able to do the academic part of it and to do it in three years, what is it? I mean, what does your day consist of? Okay, so <laughs> a regular day, you probably wake up around five, you, you know, wake up, take a shower maybe, uh, get to the facility by six, tape, dress, meetings, team meetings, then you go to practice, um, practice is over about 10 o'clock, you do some drills after, and then you go to class. My class is at 11, so I had to sprint out the field, shower, eat, eat while I'm walking sometimes, <laughs> then go to class. Um, first class was accounting, and then um, I would go to a design class, and then the class would be from 11 to 5. And then uh, about 5 to 7, I would eat and relax, and then from 8 to about 10.30, I would do my homework, and then I would have to immediately go to sleep if I wanted to wake up on time the next day. You know, I, I got to ask you, does... The studying, does mm. the schoolwork come easy to you? Mm. I mean, I would say yes. I, I, I don't know if easy is the right word. I've learned to discipline myself to do it. Yeah. Um, you know, early, as going in early, it was very, very tough. Yeah, yes. I mean, just getting thrown in the fire. But over time, you develop the skills and everything you need um, to balance everything. Yeah. And that's why I like Notre Dame so much because you learn that so early. And, you know, when football ends, you have that for a, a job as well. So. Well, and, and we talked, you know, you graduated South Warren in December. You, you yes, sir. Early in December. And you went right to South Bend. Mm -hmm. And you talk about uh, getting thrown into the fire. We've got about 90 seconds left. What was that transition like going from yeah. South Warren to It was South night Bend? and day. Um, they bring you up. Your parents are there. You're having a good time. <laughs> then your parents leave. You go to sleep. You wake up. And it's like... Uh, a, a war, like you're going this straight to work. First day we were running 300s, um, which I've never done before at school. So uh, it was a, it was very uh, tough at first, but now um, you know I'm an older guy. I'm a, right. I'm I would say I'm more of a leader, and like that stuff is like all oh, 300. Like let's do it. Like um, you get better at it. You you learn to love it, and uh, I'm really grateful that I was able to come in early. Well, we have so much to talk about, and and before we break for our first break, I mentioned you look fantastic. I mean. You, you look taller, mm -hmm. you, you slim down, but you've got more muscle mass. Um, you, you feel great, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I feel so much better. Um, I lost about 15 pounds of, of weight that I didn't need, and I've uh, worked my way back, back up to that, the weight I was uh, at previously, 
and uh, I feel really well, and uh, I'm excited for this season. Uh, it's, it's amazing. When we come back, we're going to talk more about Notre Dame fighting Irish football, about the transition you did as far as football goes, what th what's that like, and, and some other things. So stay tuned. More of the Sporting Time Show right here on WNKY NBC 40. We'll be right back with Jacob Lacey. Welcome back to the show. Jacob Lacey is my guest, former South Warren Spartan football star. Now he plays at Notre Dame. Graduated, just graduated Notre Dame in three years, is headed back, and he's beginning his master's degree in business. Yes, sir. Which will only be, you'll be done in a year with that. Yes, sir. So you'll have your master's and your undergrad in four years. Yes, it was uh, the biggest perk to going to college early was being able to do that, and I'm glad I did. That's amazing. And you're coming back. You're going to mm -hmm. be uh, on, the, on the gridiron again. I've got to ask you, you were such an opposing figure in high school, mm -hmm. right? I, yes, I mean, when the team from Denver came in, they were like, we, could, we didn't have an answer for 55. When Tennessee came in, we didn't have an answer for 55. Mm -hmm. So you go from South Warren to South Bend. <laughs> what was that like? playing against guys that physically were as big as you were, mm -hmm. or in some cases bigger. You were double teamed uh, on, you know, the offensive linemen were double teaming you. It's got to just the size. What is that like? Well, I would say the size at first, you, you kind of like the challenge going into that. Um, you know, they're there for the same reason as you. Yeah. And uh, so you, you're not really worried about that. But I would say the biggest difference would be your technique. Uh, in college, you have to be, you know, for me personally, uh, me and a couple other guys, we're not the tall, like the tall 6'5", uh, defensive tackle, more the Aaron Donald 6'1", uh, explosive guy. So for us, technique is very, very important. And yeah. uh, I feel like I've mastered that very well. We, we still get double teamed a lot. <laughs> Trust me, we get double teamed a, a lot. And uh, you just, you know, go out there every day. And, you know, at, at this point in my career, I feel like I'm doing very well. So uh, it's exciting, though. Yeah, you're doing fantastic. But, but. Your, your claim to fame is your speed, right, mm -hmm. and, and strength. I right. mean, you were really, really fast. And, and would you say that that obviously is, you know, helped you a lot oh, at the yeah. college level? I would say um, that helped me out greatly, especially because Coach Smith was my D-line coach in high school. And a lot of the technique was similar, so that allowed me to elevate my game in uh, college a lot faster than some others and sustain that. And, uh, you know, getting healthy, of course, and things like that helped yeah. a lot, too. And um, at first it was kind of, you know, it took a lot of repetition and things like that. But now it's, um, you don't even think about it. You know, you're out there, you're trying to help the, for me personally, trying to help the younger players and sure. um, going out there and, you know, being the example. So, First time you walked on to Notre Dame's football field for a, a home game, mm -hmm. what was that like? It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just said at least it was absolutely insane. Um, you walk out there, you're in the tunnel. And, you know, the fans are right on top of you, um, and you look up, and they're screaming for you, can I get some gloves, stuff like that. <laughs> you're like, you're trying to lock in for the game. Um, but it was absolutely was surreal, funny. and uh, it doesn't change as you get right. older. Every time you're in there, you just, when you hear that, when you run out in that tunnel, you score a touchdown, you make, take, get a sack. Um, it's a very special place. You, you've traveled all over the country. Mm -hmm. So far, what was your favorite away game? What was the the, okay. the the college or the stadium that really kind of was like an awe moment for you? So I have two. Early on, freshman year when we played Georgia, that was a crazy experience. Yep. It was a very, very cool experience. Wish we could have uh, pulled out that game, but <laughs> it was a very, very fun. And then um, this last year, Virginia Tech was yes. something I was not expecting, but that stadium is insane. The yeah. fans there are... <laughs> are very uh, passionate about their team. And so. it's, a, it's a really cool uh, uh, landscape, right, yes, as far as yes, Virginia it's Tech? Very, it's different. It's, uh, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's like a mountains. You can see different things. And uh, it was a night game, so you couldn't see a lot. But it was very, very cool. You know, you, you talk about leadership a lot. And you're in that leadership role now. Mm -hmm. how, how is that different from, from, from high school to college? And we've got about a minute left. 
unfortunately, but we've got a minute <laughs> left. How is that leadership role for you? You know, for me personally, um, I was always a lead by example player. Yeah. But when you get to college, you realize, you know, everyone is that. You, everyone tries to be that, and you have to learn to voice what you want to get out of your players and your teammates so, you know, you can achieve what you want to achieve. Um, we were taught that lead by example is great, but you have to, you know, voice that if you want to get results out of it. You can't right. always, because you know, some people are just as tired as you um, and need that extra push. So just learning to uh, come out of my comments a little bit and uh, speak a little bit more and say the things which I feel like I'm doing, um, training very well, that is uh, the biggest difference. I tell you what, Jacob, what an amazing young man you are, amazing career. Thank you very much for coming. Yes, sir. No, man, thank this has you. been a yeah. treat for me. Uh, listen, stay tuned. Follow Notre Dame football, Jacob Lacey. Coming up, well, we've got Grace Turner right here on the Sporting Time Show, WNKY, NBC 40. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Well, we are going from Superman to Wonder Woman. I want to bring on a former athlete from Monroe County High School. She is now at Western Kentucky University in track and field. She does pole vaulting and high jumping. She just had her personal best at Conference USA, and we are glad to have her in studio. Grace Turner, welcome to the show. Hey. I'm so fired up. <laughs> this is an amazing show, and I know I had you on a couple of times when you were in high school. Yes. But congratulations. We were talking off camera. Mm -hmm. You you high jumped 5'8", yeah. right? You were 5'4", mm -hmm. and you, you received a bronze medal, which you have on. I brought it. You said you brought me something. I thought you were giving it to me. That is such a cool. It. That is such a cool bronze medal. It looks gold. I know. That's what I like about it. But 5'8", five 5'4", five that is really high. I mean, I'm 5'10", so you really have to get up there. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. What was your personal best before 5'8"? It was 5'7". That was my second PR this year for high jump. I don't know, something just clicked this year, I guess. So where was, conference, where was the Conference USA championship at? It was in San Antonio, Texas, and it was hot. It was hot. Very so, are you superstitious at all? Um, kind of, yeah. Okay, so you had a personal best, not only in high jump that day, mm -hmm. but also in pole vaulting. Is there something that, was it the air in Texas? Was it what you ate? Was it, what was it that you got two personal bests in the same day? I don't know. I think it was, we just really came prepared. We made sure that everyone who was competing on the last day like stayed inside the hotel, like stayed out of the sun as much <laughs> as possible. So we just didn't die. But I just went out there. It kind of felt like old times. It felt like high school. Had both events same day. Really? Yeah. So, so you're, but you're a junior now. Yes. At WKU, which is really amazing because it just seemed like yesterday you were a, a Lady Falcon. And, but you still have, did I get this right? Three years of eligibility left? I have two. Two years yes. left. And is that part because of the COVID in Yeah, 2020? that fifth year will be my COVID year. Okay. So tell me, which event is more difficult for you? Is it the pole vault or is it the high jump? Pole vault. Really? Yes, hands down, pole vault. And you jumped, you pole vaulted 12, 12 feet, 8.75? Yes. So... That's amazing. How do you how do you how do you practice that? Well, it's been rough this year, but we just keep going out there and doing the same day. Some days the poles like to bend, some <laughs> days they don't. But does 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 heat have anything to do with with you know the equipment that you use, or is it or no? I. Some people tell me no, but in my head, they've been better when it's warm Hotter. outside yeah. because sometimes when we jump outside and it's cold, I feel like they're stiffer, but it could all be in my head. <laughs> well, it doesn't. I mean, if that's if you feel that way, that that obviously helps you. 
But that's such a, you know, I saw a film you or video on you. We got about 90 seconds left. When you were practicing in, in Tompkinsville, right? You had mm -hmm. a place that you could go oh, and yeah. practice year round. Um, do you feel now that you're three years into it that your technique has changed at, at, from WKU or what, what do you think it is? I do think I've learned a lot that has helped me like my running form wise. I feel like I run a lot taller. I'm able to plant the pole better, which has really helped and lifting has helped uh, like a lot. Really? So yes. you do, and, and when we come back from break, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that transition. I talked to Jacob about this and, mm -hmm. and we kind of laughed about transitioning from a high school atmosphere to a, a college atmosphere. It's just a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very time consuming. What, what is your major? I am a visual arts major. Okay, only because you're an accomplished painter. Yes. I've seen some of your painting, which is amazing. So when we come back, maybe you can send us some so we can put it on air. Amazing artist um, right here next to me, uh, as well as a high jumper, pole vaulter. Uh, who knows? Maybe you're a musician on top of it. But more with Grace Turner when we return right here on WNKY NBC 40. Don't go anywhere. We've got more with Grace. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. Grace Turner, of course, is my guest. I want to thank Jacob Lacey also. Uh, okay, so you are a visual arts major. And I've seen, I saw some of your painting back in high school, which uh, we are showing some of those paintings now. Uh, has that craft improved? Have you been able to paint more? Has it changed since you painted in high school? Your stuff in high school is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. I definitely get to paint a lot more now that our painting classes are about like three hours long wow. each. So it kind of runs into practice, but I've definitely gotten to improve on that more. So uh, do you do pencil type of paintings? And, and, and excuse me for not having the right terminology, uh, but you know, do you like to do what kind of, of subjects or do you like to do uh, portraits of outdoor stuff or I mean what I've seen that uh, mostly my drawings are usually like portraits or like animals or something but when it comes to painting I really enjoy doing landscapes really yeah I've been moving into portraits a little bit more but it's easier for me to draw them than it is for me to paint them it's very it's difficult right I mean it's not easy to be able to get that landscape stuff down because yeah. you're dealing with a lot of different angles and mm -hmm. but that comes easy to you a little bit, yeah. I've been told I'm a little hard on myself in really? the classroom. So you, you, you have a high, yeah. excuse the pun, high bar. Oh, That's so terrible. <laughs> Has anybody ever used that? That oh, was yeah. absolutely <laughs> terrible. So, well, I, I, your stuff is absolutely fantastic. So you've got, you have at least another year mm -hmm. left, um, and you'll graduate. And you told me off air that you, you would like to open up a studio. Yes. Where would you where would you like to do that? Like Nashville, Bowling Green, Tompkinsville? I don't know how much business I would get in Tompkinsville. <laughs> just but definitely somewhere close enough to the family and somewhere I think I'd get good business. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's it's incredible. Let's get back to WKU and in your sport, track and field. Uh, transition from high school to college, studying and being an athlete, what, what was that like for you? It was difficult at first. I have never said I was the best like student. I definitely got my work done and did all that, but I was never taking like the hardest courses or anything. <laughs> so moving on to this where practices were a lot more and yeah. it was waking up early, it was having to lift at night. So you, you had to schedule your classes around all of our practices. It's been tough to juggle. This past semester was difficult, but I made it through. I should, I should be good now. I think I've got it figured out. 
And as far as the track and field goes, um, what is your summer going to be like? Do you get any time off? Do you go, are there tournaments that you participate in outside of WK? You, can you do that kind of stuff? Or what is your summer going to be like? I can do that stuff. Right now I'm just taking my two weeks off before we start like summer lifting by ourselves. Right now I'm just watching Ova practice, <laughs> helping her out. Your younger sister. Yes, my younger sister. Yeah. Uh, she's got her region coming up, so I'm going to go to that. I'm getting ready for her to go to state. Yeah, if, for our viewers, the, the Turner family, four, four daughters. Yes. Uh, an incredible family, uh, all athletic, uh, just an amazing family. You just, you told me that you have a new uh, niece. Yes. That came in. She is going to get spoiled. Oh, she already is. She, 100%. <laughs> so, so we have, we had basketball, a softball, track and field. What other sports uh, does the, the Turner family were they involved in were we yes I, I know me and reagan did cross country back in the day yeah yeah i i did swim for a year that was weird <laughs> <laughs> good for you though good for me yeah. that was fun and that's pretty much it and your younger sister track and field track and field volleyball basketball she's doing it all right now that's, that's incredible mm -hmm. and she's only a seventh grader right eighth, uh, grader? eighth grader eighth grader so we'll get to see her coming up here uh, next year at Monroe mm -hmm. County High School. Um, Grace, what an amazing uh, athletic career, academic career you've had at WKU. Uh, I got to get out to one of your meets and, and check it out and see it in person, see the pole vault in person. That's got to be just incredible. It's definitely fun to watch. You'll have well, to come to the next home meet. I will, which will be this fall, correct? This fall? No, it'll be April, next April. April. Well, I think I can do that. Thank you very, very much. Um, Grace Turner, before we go, big congratulations to Wes Sanford and the Warren East Raiders for winning the 14th District uh, Baseball Championship. Next, uh, next week will be region and also district softball. It has been fantastic, this show. Thank you for joining me. And listen, have a fantastic week for Doug Thompson and Grace Turner. We'll see you next week, same time, same place, good night.